Hey everyone, good morning. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. Uh, Monday morning, for last week of June. Oh, I can't believe it. It's been a while. I'm going to wait until I get a few of my friends on before I start with this week. But I have to tell you, I am um, so excited for this week because I have my whole schedule planned out. And um, there's some really fun new things. Good morning, Dorothy. So I'm getting some people coming on. There's some fun things that we're going to do this week. We're going to have uh, quite a few Infusible Ink demos. So I figured here we are a year after Infusible Ink launched, and they've launched several. Good morning, Penny. Um, yes, I'm having a great day. How about yourself? Um, Infusible Ink launched about a year ago today, um, and I remember going to Michael's when it launched, my, our Michael's, um, for the launch and meeting up with a few friends to talk about things. Hi, thanks for sharing. Definitely share. Um, I really appreciate that because uh, it, it's a good to expand the audience so people can understand and know this stuff about um, about the Cricut products. So this is Cricut Chat, and it's my own little invention. It's a daily Cricut uh, chit chat with live on Facebook, Monday through Friday, and then we have Cricut Date Night on Saturday night at 7 p.m. So, um, you know, this week I thought it's getting on t-shirt weather, it's almost 4th of July, it's Pride Month, let's do some infusible ink, because there's some really fun things. And in addition, you know, since in the year that infusible inks launched, um, they've added many more things, including new substrates or blanks, as they're called, new um, kinds of infusible ink uh, transfer sheets, like this, the rainbow, that I wanted to show you about. And um, in addition, later on the week, we're going to be doing those cosmetic bags and the wine bags and then the pillowcases. I'm really excited about the pillowcases because I want to show you how to do it on both sides and maybe do infusible ink on one side and iron on on the other. And then we're going to culminate the week on Cricut Date Night. We decided last week we're going to culminate it with um, building a very large lighthouse out of paper um, from... from uh, SVG Cuts. Mary's at SVG Cuts. We're going to do that on Saturday night. So if you're a paper lover, then you want to stay tuned. We're also going to do a couple of 4th of July box cards mixed in there. And then a few other surprises this week. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I hope you are too. So I welcome everyone. Um, and uh, let's get started. I don't want to waste too, too, too much time. So this morning, we're going to work on just the t-shirts now the t-shirts were the original launch of of um in the original launch last year and they came in this crew neck shirt and they were in you know a good variety of sizes but they've since expanded to a v-neck as well as um, expanded sizes and gray gray which is really kind of interesting um i like the gray so I thought we could try this on both the white and the gray today. I'm going to put this one aside. Um, so, infusible ink. Infusible ink comes in two things. It comes in a box like this. It's a transfer sheet. Okay? Um, hey, so someone... Is, whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh. What happened? Okay, there we go. Sorry, my phone just slipped. Okay. Good morning. So infusible ink um, comes in this box or it comes in pens. And we've done demos for pens before. They're really fun. I like them. But today we're going to work on infusible ink. And one of the things that I really liked about um, this infusible ink box, this is from the original launch, is that it was a rainbow pattern. But what I found out is that in this box, which is two sheets, it says rainbow 
patterned here. It actually is only one sheet of rainbow pattern, and the second sheet is like a water, which is really nice, but because I wanted to use it for pride, I was like, that doesn't really fit with my... Um, with my theme, because the, the whole pride thing is the rainbow, you know, everybody's different and the rainbow. So they just came out with this one, which um, is rainbow and this one here is checked and this one with the diamond. So I thought we would try that. Um, and, and so um, this is really fun. So anyway, you can cut infusible ink on any Cricut machine, including the Legacy machines and the brand new Joy. Um, it's just a matter of size with the Joy. You can't have one of your parameters be more than 4.25 inches. You guys know that. And I use my Joy and I use my Maker and my Explore um, pretty much equally. So I wanted to um, just kind of make you aware of the fact that you can do this with any machine. You can also use infusible ink with um, an Easy Press Mini, which is right here. Let me show you. This is called an Easy Press Mini. It looks like an iron, but it's much hotter and it's smaller. And you have three different uh, three different measurements and it has its own base and then you can also do it with an easy press too which is over here let me see if I can move it over it's kind of hot so there's my easy press too um, and so when you're cutting this out first of all you're going to take it out of the box what do you get in the box so depending on how many sheets are in the box, this four 12 by 12 sheets, I've already opened this one up, but when you take it out, you have your rolled sheets, okay? I'm gonna open a brand new box because I took out what's in this one and it's not gonna be complete. So this one is the rainbow, two sheets of 12 by 12. I, keep, I store, by the way, I store whatever I don't use back in the box. I find that to be um, the easiest way for me to find what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna show you why. Because when you're first opening this, these are the colors you're expecting to see, right? But when you're opening it, and it comes in this plastic sleeve so that it doesn't get wet, wet is not good for infusible ink. Okay, so you're going to try to, don't be drinking your soft drinks or coffee or something around, um, around infusible ink because it is ink that is um, impregnated onto a transfer sheet. Okay, and if it gets wet, the ink will lift, get on your fingers, and you'll have bad results. So here I'm opening a brand new box, comes out of a sleeve, and here's what I get. I get my transfer sheets. So there are my two transfer sheets, and I also get this. It's butcher paper. We're going to need that for transferring. And then in addition, you get a little practice piece of fabric. So make sure you don't drop that because it's really good to, to use these fabric pieces. In fact, I did them on these. We're going to be doing some of this particular design today and um, this is what infusible ink is it's it's ink that's infused into the fabric okay so it's not on top of like doesn't live on top of your fabric like iron-on does it it actually infuses in it allows for you to wear to do these stretchies it will never peel or crack or lift Okay, so that's what the difference is between infusible ink and iron-on, um, is that it's longer lasting, although the iron-on lasts quite a long time, so, so just so you know. So we've got our transfer sheets here, and in this case, I've got my two transfer sheets. When I put this on, I am going to lay it with the infusible ink side up on my mat, whether I'm putting it on my Joy mat or my um, Explore mat, the ink part has to stay up and the shiny side goes down, okay? And so there's that. And then we have to do what's called mirroring. Um, and so let me show you, first of all, let's go to Design Space and have a look at what I did for finding designs for Pride. 
So I'm pulling up on my iPad design space and I, I pulled together and I can give you this file later on after we're done, but I can give you this file after we're done, but I, I pulled up all of these great images. All of these images, all of them came from Design Space. You don't have to go out looking for images on Google or, you know, on a search or Etsy. You don't have to do that. There's plenty and plenty and plenty of images there. I'm going to show you really quickly how to, how to find them. I think a lot of people don't realize that there are tons and tons of images available to you in Cricut Design Space already. So you don't have to go looking for them. So what do you do? You open up your blank canvas, whether you're on your mobile device or on your desktop, and you're going to go to add images right here. Okay, and that brings up this, which is a search engine for images, just a search engine for images. So you can search just by the name of, or, or just by the a word. So in this case, if we if we search by, say, pride for pride uh, t-shirts, we're going to get everything that has pride in it. But remember here, look at this. So this is Pride and Prejudice from uh, Austin. Uh, wait, is it? Not Jane Austen. Yeah, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. And then we've got all these other things, including Lion Pride and um, different things. And some of them are the LGBTQT, but it's not all of them, okay? Because not every single image has the word pride in it that we're looking for. So I wanted to show you a little trick um, is that if you click on one of, if you see an image you like and you're thinking, well, maybe there are more of them. For instance, here's, this says dad pride. Well, maybe there's a mom pride. Um, so here we're going to click on the I and we'll get a little pop-up box and it says view image sets. So we found this image set and it's actually titled live proud live loud so it wouldn't have come up um, because not everything has the word pride on it so when you just do a word search it's not going to bring up everything but you'll notice whoops oh, i accidentally i do that all the time hold on a second all right so dad pride view image sets and here's live proud live loud and there are all of these and um there's there's i love my mom's mom pride um and then just general pride choose love not hate spread love not hate all of these things and today we're going to do this one and we're also going to do this one equality and we're going to do it on both sides of the shirt okay so when you find these images you just simply touch on or click on that image and you go down here and hit insert and this will bring your image here this is your canvas okay and you notice i have these other things that are my canvas now this is for my brain it took a little while for me to wrap my head around this in some cases like with this my image is multicolored, which is fine um, and good if we're going to use all those different colors of the rainbow. And that would mean we'd need two, four, six, eight different colors to do this shirt, which is a lot of work because you have to do the E in, in uh, red and then Q in orange, the U in, right? So why not use something that is that is already a rainbow and just cut it out all together. That's so much easier. The only thing is if we were going to cut this, it would show each letter on individual mats because each letter is a different color and the mats arrange by color. So to counteract that effect, we need to change all of the letters to be one color because we want them to cut out all like as a word, equality. We don't want to cut out each individual letter for the color, okay? I, it, had, it took me a little while to get my head around this. And we now have this, this um, rainbow 
style. So that's what we're going to do. So how do we turn these into one color? Well, we have to go and do an action on it. And to do an action down here in the iPad app is right here, action. All right, and we need to um, get these all to be the same color. To do that, you can hit weld. Just like that, it changes it to yellow. It doesn't change. It doesn't matter what color it changes to because we're again we're cutting this out all in one piece and we're using a rainbow effect. Okay, and so that is what I did. I cut out equality here using the rainbow. Now I have to cut it out as a mirror because remember when we're doing infusible ink it's like iron on iron on has to be mirrored because when it cuts out it's cutting out on the wrong well the right side but the transfer sheet side down okay so then when I go to put it on my shirt I'm going to put it this way on my shirt so when you're doing something like the the rainbow make sure when you're cutting it out it starts with the color I didn't do that with this um, but you you can uh, arrange that by putting it on your mat just so but then you you put it this way and you use your easy press on your blank to affix it okay um, so when you cut out transfer sheets, I'm going to show you, this is what you get with a cutout, okay? And it weeds, if you've ever done iron-on before, it weeds a little bit differently. Um, this is paper, just so you know. This is paper. See, I can cut it with my fingers versus when you use an iron, um, like an iron-on, regular iron-on, you generally need to use a pick or a weeding tool, not with infusible ink. You just simply um, pull off the extra part of the infusible ink, just like this. And you do it with your hands. Um, if you need to use a tool, that's fine. But what I found is um, it just just kind of like cracking the transfer sheet will lift up that piece like that. See? So, and this works for complex images as well. So we have this one here, which is, uh, here we go. I cut out a lot of these. This one says, love always wins. And we did it, I did it in the checkered. Um, and it's a lot bigger. You notice it has a lot more like loops and it has a square around it. It weeds exactly the same. And that is, whoops, I'm on the wrong side. Is, is you just kind of start at a corner and then just continue to peel off. Okay, so just continue to peel off the piece that has been cut out for you. Now, sometimes these little pieces will lift. That's okay, just keep in mind, don't just like argh, take it off, but keep in mind that um, that piece might lift, but that's okay. It doesn't ruin it, don't, don't give up. It doesn't ruin it, okay? So we're just peeling off. You can do it on a flat surface like this or hold it up to your hand or whatever. And we're just peeling away all the stuff that we cut out, okay? And it's not super sticky, although there is some stick to keep the design on. And you notice we have this, this uh, transfer sheet. That's so that we can keep the design on that and we can transfer it. That's why it's called a transfer sheet. So you work slowly. And one of the things, whoops, one of the things I want to point out on this design is that each of the letters has like a little piece cut out. So you just have to, again, fold it a little bit and take out those inside what I call the negative cuts, right? Like this. And you just keep working through. Don't hurry because you don't want it to come out, you know, go, hurry to, I know you want to see the end result, but you have to prepare your, your project completely. Okay. And you can turn it around to see, did I get this part? No, I didn't get, did I get all the letters? 
nope, I missed this one, that kind of thing. And we're almost done here. But look, I, f I haven't done the W, I haven't done the S, so I need to take that out. All right, turn it over and see. Yeah, that's what I want. Now it looks white, but remember, this is the part that's going to go on the shirt, so you don't have to worry about it looking white, okay? So the next thing is preparing our base or our um, blank substrate. You can call it anything that you like. These are um, Cricut branded shirts. Now when this first came out, Cricut was recommending that you use their branded shirts. And a lot of people were like, well, that's not fair. The price, you know, just making money. And that is not, um, is not the case. Actually, when they were testing and they tested infusible ink for a year or more, they needed to have a, um, it's sort of like a scientific experiment. So they needed to have a control. Okay. Um, so they had this control and they, their control was the blank. So yes, you can use other blanks besides Cricut blanks. However, it's not recommended. You're not going to get the exact same results because they're not, this is not the stuff that they did it on. A few parameters if you're using your own shirts or your own blanks. The thread count has to be very high in polyester, like over 80% polyester, because on those 100% cotton t-shirts you buy at Michael's and you know, for two bucks, um, th it will not stay on. It will wash out, okay? And it's not because of the infusible ink. It's because of the substrate that you chose. So always choose um, a high polyester count. And in doubt, use the, the Cricut ones. Now, right now, there's a, there's a sale going on, and T-shirts are four bucks. Regular T-shirts are four bucks. Um, I think the kids' ones are like three. So... Um, you're going to do this, Wanda. Wanda's saying she has to have the courage to try. So right now, going on sale, on sale right now, um, these blanks are four bucks. So you could make your whole family, you know, for under 20 bucks or so, depending on your family size, I suppose, 20, 20, you can make a whole grouping of shirts, um, and, and a, one box of transfer sheets. So, okay, maybe 30 bucks if you had a four family, um, a four family. So here is a infusible ink. It's very soft. It's doesn't, you don't have to worry about shrinking at all because it's, uh, it's polyester. It's not going to shrink. You don't have to wash it ahead of time, which is great. Um, and even afterwards, you don't have to wait to wear it or wait to wash it and see how it comes out. Once you're done, you are done with this project and you can go on to your next project, okay? So all I did here, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. I always have so much stuff here. So let's choose this one. And we're gonna do this on both sides of the shirt because, oh, you know, I always like to gild the lily, right? Um, it's not enough to just have something on the front. It's, it's important to have something on the back as well. <laughs> um, okay, so as I get ready my, my shirt, what I'm going to do is take this, which is paper, cardstock paper in white, it's just whatever cardstock you have around. They sell it at Michael's. Um, I've talked about card, because I'm a paper crafter, I talked about cardstock many, many times. Um, but so here is the cardstock. The reason we need the cardstock is we don't want the transfer to bleed through to the back of our shirt. Okay? And it also helps with the transfer. So we're just going to take that cardstock and put it on the inside. We'll do the front first and then we'll switch to the back. Okay, so just put it on the inside. Now um, spread out your shirt so that it's nice and even. 
like this. You can also use a lint roller if you're not just taking out of the box in case there's some lint on there that you don't want it to transfer. I don't have my lint roller with me right now. I should have because I see a few little pieces of lint there, but I'm going to pull it up. All right, now we have to... Hi, Deborah. Hi, Ann. Nice to see you. Now we have to um, decide what temperature and what machine we're going to use, okay? Um, and so uh, there are three different kinds of easy presses. There's the mini, there's the easy press two, and then the original easy press. And Cricut has put together a guide. It's called the heat guide. And you can find it just by opening up a browser, going to Google, and type in Cricut Heat Guide. And it's an interactive guide where you choose which press you're going to use. In this case, I have an Easy Press 2, but if I wanted to use my Mini, which I can do, we can do for the back with the equality. So I'm gonna get that started. Um, I could use the Mini. Oops, of course I drop it. Hold on. Yikes. Oh, live video. <laughs> okay, so heat guide. I chose Easy Press 2, and then I have to choose the material. And remember, we've talked about this before. There's all kinds of iron on, all kinds. There's um, mesh, there's glitter, there's uh, foil, there's mosaic, there's patterned. But when you scroll, you find down here infusible ink. And this is what we're going to choose, infusible ink transfer sheet, right? Because that's the thing that came out of the box. So we're gonna choose that. And then we're gonna choose our base material, which in this case is a t-shirt. Then we're gonna hit apply. And you will see the end result here is it gives us a nice diagram of what we need to do, what how we need to make our stack, okay? Um, so you'll notice here, there's the mat. That's what this is on. This is an easy press mat. It's great. It protects your surface and it helps with the transfer. Um, it is recommended for, for infusible ink, by the way. Um, I, and I haven't tried it otherwise on another, like with another kind of a mat, although I do think they make some sorts of mats like that. Okay, then we're going to put our t-shirt and see there's our paper inside of our t-shirt and there is our cutout face up like this. Then there's butcher paper. Remember the butcher paper? I'm going to go back here because for some reason I chose my Easy Press Mini and I didn't want to do that. Okay, so it's the same diagram. The mat, my t-shirt with the paper inside, my design, butcher paper, and then my Easy Press. And on the left-hand side, it shows you how you're going to prepare and actually do the transfer. So in this case, we're gonna preheat. Preheat's important. For 15 seconds, we're going to set our Easy Press 2 to 385 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 seconds. We're only going to use light pressure and then we're going to do a warm peel. If you need even more instructions like preparing supplies and applying and care, it's all here. But these are the most important things for today is we have to preheat 15 seconds. We have to transfer it for 385 degrees for 40 seconds with light pressure. So I'm going to put this aside if I can find some rim um, and I need to get my butcher paper. So let's talk about butcher paper because it comes up and you do get the butcher paper in the infusible ink transfer sheets but you don't get it with the pens. Um, I'm not sure why but you can find it at um, I've been told you can find it on Amazon and on uh, and in Walmart and different places. Butcher paper is not coated. It has does have a shiny side. I haven't figured out what that's for, but I actually always put the matte side down. Um, my understanding of the butcher paper is to absorb any ink that might lift, so that you don't transfer that ink. So. Um, 
people have tried different things and that's fine, but um, it's best to use the butcher paper that you're given in the box. And they give you quite a bit of it, okay? So let's start with the front. We're gonna use this bigger design. This one here, love always wins, right? And we're gonna face it up here. Now I do have to preheat but I just wanna see, is this gonna be a good place for it? Yes, I think so. I think so. So, I have my Easy Press over here and it's been heating up to 385 degrees for 40 seconds. I'm just gonna preheat it. I can hit that little button if I want just to keep track. I'm just preheating the surface. It sort of just allows that shirt to sort of I don't know, accept the ink um, from the infusible ink. I'm, not, I'm moving it because I don't have my transfer there. Hi, Wendy from California, you're up early. Um, and so that's my preheat. Then I take my transfer again, the colored side, the part that we want to show, you should be able to read it, okay? And or make sense of the image. It shouldn't look backwards when you're putting it on. So I like the way this looks here. There's a little bit of stick here in some of the, on the transfer sheet and that's good so it doesn't move around. If you feel really uncomfortable, you can use something called heat um, resistant tape if you're afraid it's going to move, but I haven't found that really super necessary. So here's my butcher paper putting it down. Now I'm gonna take my press again, which I've set for 40 seconds. And just so that you know, this is how you change the temperature, this is how you change the amount of time. And I'm going to center it right over my design. I am not pressing. A light pressure, if you wanna put your hand on it. Um, and um, I turned on the, the the timer because we're going to do it remember we looked at this we're going to do it for 40 seconds so i set my timer for 40 seconds okay and then we're just letting it go let's see a few more seconds i want to make sure i got every I'm not moving it. If you move, if you accidentally move, which I've done before, it could cause ghosting, which means like you'll see a little bit of fuzziness around your design. It's not ruined, it's just a little fuzzy. Okay, so then we remove the butcher paper. And when you're looking at it, you can actually see that the transfer has lifted. I don't know if you can see that, but the transfer has lifted. It's very, very hot. Be very careful, okay, when you're lifting, but you just start from the corner. It's hot and you start peeling away and boom, that's it. Isn't it beautiful? And that's one of, that's the new, let's see, which one is this called? This one's called, oops, <laughs> rainbow shapes and patterns, patterns, rainbow shapes. And that's it. We're done. I can give this to my son. He can wear it right now. Um, and let me just show you how it looks up close. We're not going to wear it right now because we're going to do the back. But here how, is how it looks up close. See how it's really inside of that shirt? There's no, you don't have to worry, it's hot, a little tiny bit hot, but you can just give that, you can, you know, in a pinch, you can just like, oh, I need to make some shirts because my family's going to a cookout or something, and you could do this um, in an afternoon for sure. Let's do it again on the back because we're gonna put that equality on the back. Oh, look at this, the very interesting. That's a piece that come came off and I didn't check. Ooh, wow. Well, see, I'm, a, I'm never afraid to show you my mistakes because it's how you learn. I get to make the mistakes so you can learn what not to do. And that was a peel that I did just before we did this. 
and it and I put it on there but you know what it's gonna be on the back and my son's not gonna care <laughs> it's not he's not gonna care so again we're doing this one we'll do with the easy press mini so I have my easy press mini right and then we're gonna do infusible ink transfer sheets on a t-shirt and you notice it says I have to put it on high which is the three squiggly lines for 75 seconds with a preheat of five seconds, okay? So we it's still a little preheated, but it doesn't hurt to put a little bit more heat on there. So let's move my iPad over here and take my mini, which I have set for those three. And this base is hot, by the way, but I'm just gonna now, the difference between the Mini and the Easy Press 2 is that this one you can move around. Um, the Easy Press is like, it's like a regular heat press. You're not going to move it around, but um, it's slightly, I think it's the, it's the temperature that causes, um, that allows you to be, I'm not really sure, I'll have to ask about that. So I'm preheating. And then I'm taking my equality. I want to make sure that I got it. And I don't want to put it so that it's going, see on the inside here, we have a seam where the, the neck is. I don't want to put it on that because that could cause transfer problems. So let's make sure we do it below the neckline and we take our equality cut out that we cut out with the joy this one I cut out with the joy and we put it so that we can see the design at the beginning we can see the design when we're putting it down right and that looks good aside from our little mistake or little boo-boo here we also need the butcher paper again I could probably use half the sheet doesn't matter and then we can start with the 75 seconds. And this is where I get a little messed up is that um, I'm used to my easy press telling me when the time is up. So I actually set my easy press on so I know what time um, I'm doing. And note that I am turning, I'm, I'm, I'm moving it. Now I'm not really pushing down I'm just sort of gliding it over and some you know use this kind of a circular motion because we want to get heat and this is a great solution for a small but long transfer but you do need to make sure that you're getting all of those pieces of your transfer and um, since my easy press is set for 40 seconds, it's gonna go off and I'm gonna hit it again because that will be 80 seconds. And again, keep moving it. Don't just leave it in this one spot or it won't go, um, it won't go on there all correctly. Almost done. Almost done. All right. I always have to catch my breath when I do this because uh, when you're doing it on live. But if it doesn't come out, you guys, you know me. I, I'll still have him wear it. So I'm taking off my butcher paper. And who ready? There it is. Oh, isn't that great? And again, it's done. So we have on the front, we have the love always wins in that patterned checked colors, very vibrant. And on the back, equality. Isn't that great? And that is it. Ooh, ah! I earned a poly shirt. It is black and it's shining now. So Constance, the shirt, a poly blend shirt, the shirt is shining. 
Yeah, that might be it. I, I don't know if it's because of the polyester or not. Um, hmm, interesting. Now, a couple of other notes about this. This is easy care. You know, just wash them. The blanks are easy care. Wash them regularly. They'll never wear out. Wear. You might outgrow them or you might whatever, you know, um, ruin them any other way. But you're not going to ever have this be... Um, you don't have to wash it inside out is what I'm getting at. When you use iron-on, people are like, oh, don't dry it. Don't wash it inside out. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Nope. This is just easy care, regular wash and dry. Nothing's ever going to lift from there. It's permanently on that shirt. Okay? And it won't, as I said before, it won't shrink. And... <clears throat> um, Let's see. It and it's super easy. Wasn't that super easy? Did you like it? Did you like this idea? Um, I'm going to post again. I'm going to post with my replay. I'm going to post the <clears throat> images that I found. All of these images, but I'm gonna leave some of them with the color, so you know that this is what we were aiming for: is one color. Um, which we remember we got there by hitting on, let's do this one. We hit on that image and we did actions, right? And we welded it and it turned it into, it turned it into yellow, <laughs> but um, we can undo that. Oops, I hope I can undo it. Yeah, there we go. We can undo it. So um, that is it. It's really not difficult, folks. It really isn't. And it's a lot of fun um, for sizing chart. Yeah, I'm going to have to check to see if the sizing charts are on there. These now, they come in extra small, all the way up to 3X for adults. They come in white. They come in gray. Um, I don't know about other colors. Uh, I, I don't know if it would appear on a black shirt or not. I, I haven't tried that. I've only ever tried the blanks. But later on in the week, we're going to be doing the brand new blanks. In case you missed it, we're just coming in. We're going to be doing the cosmetic cases. Also, the, the uh, pillowcases. I'm so excited about the pillowcases. Um, and I'm also going to show you a trick on how to use more of your transfer sheet. Instead of like this, where it's it's doing the outline, it's going to be an inverse, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that on the cosmetic case. It's really cute. Um, and then again, later on this week, we're going to be doing some, uh, some faux earrings with iron on we're also going to be doing some box cards for fourth of july and then saturday night on date night we're doing a lighthouse so if you're just catching this on the replay um thank you for watching on the replay and we are uh, doing this every day on facebook it's called cricket chat i think it's the only daily cricket show um on Facebook or anywhere that I know of. And um, so if you like what you're hearing and seeing, I would appreciate you um, sharing or telling your friends because I'm trying to build an audience and I've already got some great people in it. And if you know some other great people, I'd love to love to meet them. And we're here Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern here on Miss Rita to the Rescue and then on the replay on YouTube, and in our cricket groups, Cricket Newbies for Pros, Explore and Maker, um, Newbies and Pros for Beginner, I'm not Beginner for Business, and then we've got our Joy groups, and then the Miss Rita uh, community group. Thank you, everyone. I, I'm trying to trying to not take up too much of your time every morning, um, but I think I'm coming up with like 45 minutes uh, because I talk so much. <laughs> and I hope you all have a wonderful day tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, tentatively, we're doing the faux earrings tomorrow, so definitely tune in for that. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you.